more about myself. I was born and raised in Georgia, and I always knew I wanted to be in the healthcare field. My sister had some health issues when she was little, so we were kind of in and out of doctor's offices and hospitals, and while it wasn't me who was going through it, I was an observer in all of that. So I saw great providers, and I saw providers who maybe weren't so great. So once I got to high school, I really had an interest in getting into the medical field, but I wasn't sure what that looked like. Senior year, when I was applying to colleges and trying to figure out what direction my life would take, it was actually my dad who introduced me to the PA profession. He went to the doctor one day with a simple cold and ended up seeing a PA. He had never heard of a physician assistant, and neither had I, but he came home from the doctor really excited about this provider he had just seen. He was very impressed by the way she took care of him and what she was able to do, and he said he felt like that was something that I should look into. Um, well, I tend to over-research things, and I must get it from my dad because he brought me a whole folder of information about the PA profession. I looked at it. I was interested. It um, definitely kind of clicked with me, but I still wasn't sold. Come graduation in 2008, I headed off to the University of Georgia where I declared myself a biology major, um, which is no joke at UGA. But during that time, especially my first year and first semester of freshman year, I spent a lot of time soul searching and researching. I looked into the PA profession, PT, OT, medical school, dental school, nursing, teaching, all different professions that you could do with a biology major after going to additional schooling. Um, and I just kept coming back to PA. It seemed like such a great fit for me. I was ready to work. I was ready to get out there. I didn't want to go through school for years and years and years. And I really liked the teamwork aspect. I liked the idea of having someone who was there to assist me if I needed them. And if I wanted um, their advice and someone that I could collaborate with. And I really feel like that just provides great quality patient care. Two minds are better than one, right? So after I made that decision, I started pursuing the profession more. So I um, started doing some volunteering, hospice volunteering. I was really involved in my campus ministry, did some leadership positions there, did some mission trips with them as well. They were not medical based, but they were just reach outreach missions. And then I also got my certified nursing assistant license. And so I worked as a CNA um, at, at, for a summer, and then I applied to PA school in between my junior and senior year of undergrad. Um, I'll go more into places I applied in another video, but essentially I'm really happy with my decision. I love being a PA. I work in dermatology, which is a lot of fun, and I would definitely recommend PA as a profession if it's something that you are interested in. So with that, I recommend shadowing. Um, that is what I think solidified my decision to be a PA and also made me have an interest in dermatology because that's where I spent the most time shadowing. So um, if you have any questions, if you're trying to decide between professions, let me know. Um, but I hope this tells you a little bit more about me and where I came from.